If you ever consider growing using aeroponics as a way of grow medium, it means that you are growing your plants in water and water vaporized. So you have these plugs here. And in these plugs, you, you put down your plants. So you can basically just keep watering them every minute or every two minutes or what the setting is that you like to grow grow them in. We got it to work as you can see in the video that we are putting out now. So it, in this video it works and you can see that the plants are really healthy, they are big, the, the basil and the parsley is looking really good. The key difference is that the way that we got this to work was that we had to physically by hand water all the plugs until the roots caught on and the roots got long enough so we could spray them with water from underneath. The idea about the system is that it is fully automatic with fertilizer and with water. However, this is not the case with a system like this. It's really difficult to get it to work properly and we can't make it. So we are choosing to take this down. It doesn't work for us. If I would, would be starting aeroponic today, I would do it in a completely different way. I don't think I would even start it because there's so many things that you have to keep in mind. If the electricity runs out, if the water tank is uh, empty, if the, it doesn't have the right fertilizer and it doesn't have the right nutrient balance, then it simply doesn't work properly. We don't like to work with it because we like stability and uh, stability in an aeroponic system is very difficult. If you want to achieve this, you should have it as a sole focus. As you can see in all the other videos we're making, we are very busy with mushrooms. We're growing oyster mushrooms, lion's mane. We are growing 25 different varieties of microgreens and it simply is too big of a headache for us to have a system like this installed and we have to go out here all the time making sure that the plants aren't dead and we don't really know if they are or not. So we don't like to work with it. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. People can get it to work. I just don't want to spend my energy and my time making this work when all the other things we're doing are working and we can just scale that up and then just scale this down and, and remove it from the production. We can make a much higher profit in this shipping container growing mushrooms, so that's what we're choosing to do. We like the idea about the automatic setting that you can just put the plants in and then they will, you can leave them there until that they have grown until this size, then you can cut them and then they will regrow that's a really good idea. This is just not how we like to work with it. Inside this container, it gets to 35, 40 degrees without any cooling on the system as well. So we have to cool everything down. It simply doesn't add up with the economics of running this system. So we are taking it all down again and then we are growing lion's mane instead in here. I think we're going to grow some turkey tail and some reishi as well. So we are going to start going into the medicinal side of the gourmet mushrooms and the medicinal mushrooms. We are really interested in how that's going to work out. So we will see how it works. All in all, this system is not working. This is not how we want it to be. And we like to work with systems like NFT or like ebb and flow it works it's been working for the last many years and it works now we tried to see if we could innovate something with this system but we can't when the container is getting hot and even even though we are cooling it down inside of these containers it gets so hot because the containers are taking in the heat and it's just heating up everything in it so the roots doesn't have a healthy life, it doesn't have a healthy environment and we, it doesn't work. Sorry, but it doesn't. So, we will see what we are going to do with this container. We are going to make a complete video about how we 
move everything out and then put everything in and then how we set up the Lion's main production in here. So tune in for that, but this is not working. This is my opinion. You can get it to work if you choose to focus on it and you make the boxes completely white so they don't put in that much heat in the roots. You cool the water by the water cooled. You have an insulated water tank so you can cool the water and the water will remain temperaturized while you are doing it. And yeah, there is, there is many solutions to get it to work. We just don't want to focus on it. And yeah, so we, we uh, choose to let it go. Sometimes in life you have to let something go that doesn't work. And this is what we have to do right now. As you can see here, we are in the process of taking the last parts of the aeroponics system out. And uh, as I was uh, texting with Atomizer in the comments, I agree completely that if the boxes would have been twice as high and the sprayers would have been located so it would spray much better equal out in the corners, I think definitely an aeroponic system could work. We just chose to take it down and in the next video we will show you how our lines main are growing.